and challenging complications of joint replacement today is infection. And periprostatic infection is now the number one cause of failures of total knee replacements, and it's close number three cause of failure after total hip replacements. It's expected that over the next few years, infection will move to number one after uh, uh, for hip replacement also. And we looked at our own infection rates by MRSA. And what we found was that the incidence of methicillin resistant staph aureus and methicillin resistant mm -hmm. staph epidermidis has increased fourfold over the 10 years that uh, we have been collecting data on our infected cases. And those are challenging cases to treat. They're challenging because there's really no great antibiotic to treat them in these patients. One issue that is being evaluated at the moment right now is uh, so-called the decolonization program. So you do a nasal swab on the patients preoperatively, and if they are positive for MRSA, then you put them through a different protocol than a patient who is not MRSA positive. And the protocol, the decolonization, in brief, I don't want to go through the extent, in brief it involves even two weeks of nasal meparison or an antibiotic of some sort until they decolonize giving them the appropriate antibiotic during the surgery to cover them and then postoperatively isolating them on the ward until they leave the hospital.